gosh, hi. Hi, hello. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, listen, uh, listen you got some mail here. Oh, do I? Um, uh, can you put mail forwarding on? Because I don't really want to have to deal with this. Oh. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can forward my mail, yeah. How's LA? Great. I'm jogging now and juicing, and I honestly feel like I'm like moving into a, a awareness of. Right, see you later. And how are you? Mm, asshole! Hi. Donnell, right? Donnell. When I put in my profile, I'm, I am 5'10". Oh, I read that, and it's a very interesting fact about yourself. Thank you for sharing it. Just so you know, I don't usually wear heels. Usually I wear flats. So even though I am 5'10", I'm 5'10 and a half. <laughs> Technically, I'm 5'10 and three quarters. I'm 5'6", and I love tall women. Okay. <laughs> May I offer you something to drink? Um, I'll take a dry Prosecco. And for the gentleman. You got Hansi? We do not. Very sorry, sir. Let me get a double shot of 1942 and a Diet Coke on the side. Very good. So, Rachel. Rachel from New York. What brought you here? Well, um, I work in tech. Um, and about a month ago, I got this really great job offer in Marina. Marina. <laughs> but the commute from Frogtown is like, so insane. I had no idea, you know, what I was signing up for. I don't know how you people do it. We people? Oh, not... I didn't mean like... <laughs> she was shorty, my bad. I'm just messing with you. Oh! <laughs> podcast. What? Well, we listen to a lot of podcasts in the car. In the car? Yep. Great. So a woman in tech, that's dope. Yeah, thanks. And what did you study at Cal State LA? Communications. But you might say I went down a different path. I'm what one would call an entrepreneur. I got several enterprises around town, all cash money. Look, I'm sorry. I'm not very, I'm not really comfortable with drug use. Or me neither. Like I was saying, I own a small chain of beauty salons. Let me give you a gift card for a free eyebrow threading. Yes, thank you. Yeah, no doubt. But what brought you here to this table with me? Well, I am five weeks out of a breakup. And my boyfriend and I were together for a couple years, but didn't work out. So now I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get back out there and just date outside my usual type. Oh, bet. <laughs> Fellas, the boy not dangerous enough for you. Um, Barnard. Thank you. I actually went to Barnard. My bad, my bard. Your bard. <laughs> mm. So what, you got out to LA? Figured you try out a black guy? No. No? Yes. No, but <laughs> not, no, not like, just, I've, I, I don't know, I keep, I keep finding myself in these relationships that don't work out, obviously, as I'm still single. So I'm like, maybe it's time for me to get out of my comfort zone. Try something I've never, you know, never even, what is that, racist? It's n it's not because I'm not racist. Okay. I, I, <laughs> so, um, in my family, we play a game every Christmas, Christmas Confessions, it's pretty dope. We confess one thing that we lied about over the last year, and no one was allowed to get mad about it. You wanna play? Uh, okay, well this isn't really a lie, but um, my, ex-boyfriend had like some commitment issues. So just to see, I don't know, like what would happen, I went off birth control and tried to get pregnant, and I did. I got pregnant, and I was so excited, and he did not take the news very well. But it turned out it was a false positive, and so now I live in LA, and um, his loss. So, you faked the pregnancy? No, 
Why does everybody keep saying that? No, I would never, no, I would never do, I just, I did something different. I, I tried to get pregnant without telling him I was trying to get pregnant. Right, but did he say he didn't want to have kids? He said maybe someday. <laughs> and someday wasn't soon enough for you? No, someday felt very far away. Didn't feel soon enough at all. The truth of the matter is, no one knows what's going on in a relationship except the people in it, so. I don't judge. Think, wow. God, you are so nice. <laughs> I try. But, um, my cat, my cat is sick, so, uh, I gotta go. But, good luck in LA, Rachel from New York. You're good. You know, I also went to Bard 